OMG, OMG BBG. BBG! What up BBGs? We are back with another Beyblade Burst unboxing video and of course it's Sparking Goods and today's release is the newest random booster. So we have here volume 24 and we have every single Beyblade that comes in the set. So it's a full set. Uh, we did mention in a BBG Talks that this may be very well the worst booster ever <laughs> because it doesn't really come with that many exciting parts. There's no prize bay really, um, unless you're counting first Uranus, like they're counting that as kind of like the prize bay, but it's not that special to us really. But maybe we're wrong. Yeah, it could be cool still, right? Because there are like gold chassis, right? And we have brand new drivers in here that have uh, metal locks and stuff like that. So I think those parts themselves are probably more exciting than the package overall, right? So let's take a quick look at the back of the box really quickly, just to show you guys what we get. You can see from the top of the box here on the back, it shows metal Acel and metal defense. So these two drivers have metal locks on them. You guys know from like dash drivers, the spring lock has like that red plastic. Now it's not plastic at all. It's metal, like it says here. So that's a very interesting take on it. I know for sure, like when I first heard about the metal drivers that were included in the set, I thought they were talking about the tips, but it's not. It's actually about the spring lock. So that's pretty cool. For the bays themselves, we have eight of them. And of course, they're all bays that we've seen before. We have first Uranus, we got Glide Ragnarok, all that stuff, King Helios, right? They're all pretty decent recolors. Like they're not the greatest, uh, but it's always nice getting a set that's mostly gold. Yeah, so I guess we gotta open it up, see if it meets our expectations. Uh, maybe it will surprise us. Yeah, I don't know. We have pretty low expectations for this random booster, but those new parts could save it. So let's get to unboxing and open them all up. But right before we do that though, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage. Feel free to give us a follow. And then that also means we gotta put stickers on all the bays. Yeah, that, that really is the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> but the gold chassis though, I'm really hyped up for that. Or it's technically the best part because we actually just get to relax and put on stickers. Just chill. All right, there you go, eight bays. Let's do it, sticker time. Okay, BBGs, here we go. All of the random boosters with their stickers on. Man, it felt like there was extra stickers this time around, but the end product though is pretty good. You know, all the gold and stuff like that is better than I thought. You know, when we first saw pictures, we are like, eh, this might be one of the worst boosters, but they look pretty cool. Uh, we get another like Lucifer chassis, so that's nice. Yeah, that iconic uh, pink rubber blades from the 2D chassis, now we have it in like this orangey color, so that's pretty sweet. But let's go over all of the parts that we get here, okay? Very first bay we have is first Uranus, that comes with double zero and metal Acel 1D. So that metal Acel is the new driver that you get from uh, this entire set. And it's not a metal platform on the actual tip itself, it's the metal lock portion. It is next level tight when you lock it in with the layer. I thought uh, for the first bits that it was actually broken, like it just couldn't click together. Yeah. It was insane. Straight up just like didn't have enough strength to actually lock it. And when you do lock it, you almost like hurt your finger a little bit because it requires that much strength. So it's insane. But yeah, we'll show you those drivers in more detail in a little bit. Apparently this first Uranus version is called the Dark Flare version. We mentioned that in the BBG Talks earlier. Pretty uh, suitable name. Matches the theme of Lane. And this version of King Helios is apparently called Fire Gold version. Survive 1B. And it does look pretty darn good. The, especially the gold chassis. The gold chassis is really nice. Not bad at all. Yeah, all the gold parts really does make this stand out. Third bait that we have here is Variant Lucifer. So this Lucifer comes with that 2D gold chassis that we were mentioning earlier. It's pretty cool. And it comes with the Orbit Driver. This is also Fire Gold version. Fire Red, Pokemon Fire Red. Yeah, and you guys can see like there's kind of like a theme here, right? Like there is a bit of orange in there mixed in with all the gold. So you know what? It suits it. And this next bait is probably like the least exciting one in my opinion. This is Revive Phoenix. It comes with the four disc and metal defense. So this is the second metal driver that we're getting in this set that has that metal spring lock. This one is just called the gold version. So the most basic name really. Uh, but yeah, you actually wanna get this particular bay for that driver. Once again, super duper tight. And this next bay is really nice, Imperial Dragon. So it looks pretty sick. Comes with the seven disc and eternal driver. So pretty basic parts, nothing to stand out there. And this is just called the black version apparently. 
So also very basic name. This black Super Hyperion looks pretty sweet. It has a few gold accents. The entire combo is black. Um, and I like how they even matched up like the green in there for the sparking chip and the driver. So this black chassis looks pretty sweet. This comes with the quick driver. So not quick dash guys, just quick. And so this is a downgrade technically, uh, but it is also a new part. So if you don't want a tighter spring lock for whatever reason, I guess you guys can use this one. But uh, yeah, I don't know who would actually want that. And this is also called the black version. So yeah, also a very basic name. Same one as the Imperial Dragon. And here we're getting a GT Bay. This is Master Diabolos. This is a pretty welcome addition to the set actually because Master Diabolos is a pretty sick uh, layer overall. This comes with the Zero Disc and the Zephyr Driver. So some pretty basic parts. Another Zero Disc. This is golden black version. So not only is it the black version, it's golden apparently. I don't see why the other two bays that we talked about, Super Hyperion and Imperial Dragon, don't have that name because they also have gold on them. Uh, those ones are apparently just black version and this one's gold and black. <laughs> so I don't know why Takara Tomi is naming it like that, but whatever. Last but not least, Glide Ragnarok. So this Glide Ragnarok colorway is like not bad at all. It's pretty similar to every other black version that we've had so far in this set. Gold, black accents, bit of red in there in the sparking chip. Just the black version once again. So this combo comes with 5 and trans with a gold 1S chassis. So technically from this random booster 24, there is no one single rare part that it advertises. Like, I guess everything is rare? They are technically all special editions, so I guess so. That's kind of what they're going for. I would definitely buy this set for those metal drivers. That is really the main point of buying this entire set. So let's show you guys the start of the entire booster. We bought all of these bays and we're literally here for these two. It's so funny. So metal Acel right here in the red color or kind of purple. And then we have metal defense here in like they look orange yellow. Sick. Dude, the metal spring lock around the center there and these pins. Yeah, that's pretty So insane. cool. So it does look really awesome. But of course, it'd be really nice to see some newer design drivers that get this upgrade. Like, I'm kind of sick of seeing like defense, a cell, stuff like that. Like, they're so basic, you know what I mean? Yeah, but if you add on the metal onto like some newer drivers, that's gonna be too OP. Yeah, I mean, this is already really OP too. Yeah, because like the teeth are insanely tight, guys. So, this is gonna be a little bit hard for you guys to tell, but I'm gonna try and lock it into first Uranus here with the metal cell. Oh, oh man, it's that like spring lock though. It's actually so much effort. Never gonna burst. This is a sick driver to have. One thing that we noticed, and actually Takara Tomi pointed it out as well, is that you'll see there is a bit of a design difference here. So on your plastic Acel dash driver, these plastic tabs that you see on the top of the driver right there, those there are the tabs that basically move and make contact with the teeth on your bay. So when you lock it in and say the bait unlocks, those teeth basically, you know, move over, right? And um, you'll notice that the plastic version has taller tabs versus the metal one has like shallower, just like shorter tabs. They're made of metal though, so that's the difference, right? Let's give you an idea of the weight difference between a regular SL driver and, well, a regular as in a plastic one and a actual metal one. So this here is a cell dash. So this is already an upgraded version compared to a normal cell. So that's six grams. Okay. And now this is metal a cell. About 7.88 grams, so okay. eight grams. Okay, you know, not too bad at all. I mean, it's not gonna be a, like a massive difference, but I mean, when you're talking about drivers themselves for such basic parts, two grams, you know, it's pretty significant, I guess. Yeah. So let's do a test battle with all of our new random booster bays. Yeah, these gold bays actually matches my setup quite well. Oh yeah, the long look at that. sparking launcher there. Looks pretty sick. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> oh, look at my tongues. <laughs> like you. It's a little bit harder to see. Yo, revive. Not setting up the barrier. <laughs> Don't need to use the shield even. All right, uh, one of my favorites, uh, Master Diabolos. And I'll use the new Glide Ragnarok. Three, Three two, one. one. So even though you get a new color upgrade, you're still gonna burst on me. That hasn't changed. Three, Three two, one. one. Wow, Imperial Dragon's so sturdy. 
Man, these bays look sick in the stadium, yeah, though. Yeah, that color. Better than I thought. Yeah. Better than I thought. Like, as we progress through this video, we're just, like, liking the scent more and more. <laughs> yeah. It's like, we regret saying what we said yeah. in our Gucci talks. <laughs> yeah. All right, so first urine is up now. Dark flare version. Three, Three two, one. And Helios. Oh, man, the Ooh. Gold King Helios. That looks so sick. First Uranus, not bad. It's like gliding really well on the stadium there. This is the metal Acel driver that's on this one. But uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't use the first Uranus like layer. But I mean, that driver though, we're definitely gonna be using that in future battles for sure. Who's gonna take it? Oh, King of course, Helios. King Helios. Pretty sick. Man, such a sick color. Okay, BBGs, that is it for our unboxing on Random Booster Volume 24. Now that you've seen the metal drivers that were released in this set, and you saw some recolors like this, let us know down in the comments which product was your favorite, okay? Um, honestly, we were talking quite a bit of smack about this set originally, because right, we were kind of disappointed, right? We are like, oh man, no real prize bay, we're just getting recolors, right? And then, bam, they gave us these metal drivers and made it all worth it, really. Yeah, don't judge a book by its cover, guys. Yeah, don't be like us, we just like talk so much smack and then, <laughs> then we got the product, we're like, yo, we're in love with these things. So yeah, let us know down in the comments, okay? Um, I think the King Helios release is probably like one of my favorite recolors of that set. And obviously, you want to aim for that first Uranus or the Revive Phoenix for the Metal Drivers, okay? Alright guys, that is it. Like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks, geeks out! out.